Hi, Chris from Florida Drone Supply. We are back again today with a new Teledyne FLIR Cyrus video. We wanted to cover our impressions after 100 days of use with the Cyrus and a few things that we have learned along the way about this drone. Since we received the first production prototype from Teledyne, we have been inside and out of this drone and put it through almost every test and scenario that we could think of. We have been so excited about this drone as an alternative to DJI in the state of Florida. Myself and the team here at Florida Drone Supply have literally covered the state of Florida doing in-person demos, testing, and training on every aspect and feature of this drone. So let's start with the good about this drone. Number one, the battery life. Teledyne claims 31 minutes of flight time, and we have experienced that the time frame is surprisingly accurate. We are seeing regular flight times in the high 20 minute range. Number two, the thermal camera. The FLIR Bosen 640 by 512 radiometric camera is literally the star of the show for this drone. And to quote some officers that have used this in the field, it's almost like cheating finding these suspects. Number three, price point. Coming in less than $10,000 makes this drone the ideal and a budget-friendly option for departments and agencies across the U.S. The closest competitor, non-DJI, is more than $4,500 more expensive. Number four, the IP rating. Teledyne claims an IP54, and we have put this through the ringer and have used this in the rain, sun, sand, dust, dirt, urban, and rural environments, and it checks every box when it comes to that. Number five, ease of use. This is a relatively easy drone to fly. Nothing overcomplicated and very few options on the remote to change. And to quote a user of this drone in New York, this is a pilot's drone. It forces you to fly in a way that is much different than DJI. And to use an analogy, which is my favorite thing to do, to compare this drone to a DJI, it would be explained as if the DJI is a Tesla and the Cyrus is a 2010 Chevrolet pickup truck. Both are great vehicles and both will get you to the store and back, but the pickup truck is gonna be a bit more bumpy on the ride and the steering is a little bit more rugged and you have to drive it with more input compared to the autopilot Tesla with all its great features and abilities. Number six, swappable payload options. The ability to remove the camera payload on this drone is a big win for us. And the option to have swappable payloads in the future is a big selling point and has lots of benefits. The cons, we do not hold back when it comes to giving our customers the most honest and straightforward information about these drones. Number one, the build. This drone is really well built, but it does have a couple of potential failure points. The battery latch on the back. When you insert the batteries and pull the latch down, make sure you do not go past the center point or you will break that latch. Believe me, we did it. Number two, the backpack. While we still have the soft case for this drone and not the hard travel case, we have to break this drone down every time to put it away. This also means you have to take the camera payload off as well. And we have noticed that it is not very easy to put this drone in the case and you could potentially get the antennas caught on the foam, which would cause an antenna breakage or separation from the aircraft. So when you're putting this drone away, please be very careful and take the extra 30 seconds to do it correctly. Number three, the remote controller battery. This is an odd one for us. The remote controller battery is giving us three to four hours of use, but the drawback is you cannot fly and charge at the same time. And we hope that this is a firmware fix in the future. Number four, the landing. This one is a big one. And unlike DJI, which throttles its speed on landing, the Cyrus can literally come in at full speed until it's a few feet above the ground, at which point it slows down. The problem is that we have noticed that it wants to get very unstable at a fast descent, which can lead to a crash. When landing this drone, feather it back a bit and land it as slow as you can. And once you get a bit more comfortable, you can increase that speed, but never bring it in at full speed. Number five, battery design. This one is a bit more cosmetic and not feature related, but the battery design for this drone could have benefited from a few more days of engineering. Having a top and bottom designated battery can lead to potential issues of a fast battery swap, forgetting or grabbing the wrong pairing, and more. And I wish they had made these batteries in a way that they are more of a universal fit, no matter which battery slot that they are in. We do not claim to be the leading experts on this drone, and everything that I've mentioned in this video are actual experience that we've had with the drone, and your experience may vary. At the end of the day, this is a fantastic drone. We love it, we fly it nearly every day. 
and we have deployed close to 100 of these across Florida, New York, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and more. We see a bright future for this drone, and we cannot wait to see the next line of accessories and payloads coming from Teledyne, hopefully in the very near future. Thanks for watching this video on our first 100 days of use on the Teledyne FLIR Cyrus drone. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.